ask you, uh, sure. you're, you've been uh, serving this district now, what were you, about eight months now? Right. Um, yes. I gather you've gotten to know this area a little bit better. Um, right. Can you talk a little bit about um, what you've learned, your experiences here, and what you might be able to accomplish to help uh, to help Reading? Um, yeah, it uh, you know my uh, the 16th district is primarily the, uh, primarily the city of Reading in Berks County, um, and just a you know, sort of a pathway to to to, uh, to Lancaster. But uh, I've spent a considerable amount of time with uh, folks here. Um, I have made a lot of new friends uh, in the area. Um, I enjoy uh, having this as part of the district. Uh, I, of course, had served the city of Lancaster as a state senator and, and had done a lot of work with the uh, revitalization there. And I've said uh, before, I think there's a lot of potential here in Reading as I've talked to city leaders, uh, met with council, I've met with Mayor Scott uh, multiple times. Um, you know, we've, we've talked about ways that we could potentially uh, work together and I look forward to, I'm appreciative of the conversations we've already had and look forward to finding ways to do that. Um, I, there are a few things. Um, I um, introduced uh, a bill uh, uh, on the um, uh, Water Infrastructure Act or, or something of that sort, but basically what it, what it would do um, is allow cities more flexibility in dealing with their combined stormwater uh, sewer systems um, and um, provide more flexibility as they're working with uh, consent order with, with EPA. Um, it's a bill that was supported by many cities. The mayor of Lancaster had come to uh, Washington, D.C. to specifically uh, testify about a similar companion bill on the Senate side. Um, so that bill would be very helpful for the long-term finances of Reading as it's working uh, on those issues. Um, I support the community development block grants. Uh, I have sent a letter in that regard. Uh, I know the impact that it's had in the city of Lancaster and also in Reading. I think we should uh, we should continue that. New market tax credits is another one that can be very very helpful uh, to municipalities like uh, Reading and Lancaster um, in um, in redevelopment, economic development, which is obviously extremely critical uh, to our urban centers. And so that was another one I've, I've, I've supported that as well. I hope that we continue that program. It's just a few. Let's talk about um, health care. You mentioned the problem solvers caucus. They have some ideas, some bipartisan um, priorities and objectives. What are, what are some of the things that you think are attainable goals that can get broad support to change sure. uh, health care? Well, again, my, my approach is, you know, I prefer that we uh, repeal the uh, repeal Obamacare for the individual marketplace, which is uh, less than 10% of those that have health insurance uh, are have coverage through the individual marketplace. And the, the vote that I had, uh, the bill that I had voted for, uh, would repeal that, would repeal the individual mandate, would repeal uh, the employer mandate, would repeal. Um, a lot of the taxes that, that um, came with Obamacare. Because the fact of the matter is, after um, um, you know, nothing, nothing much has changed in the past eight months in regard to the, how well uh, the marketplace is working. And we've seen cost insurance prices double um, since Obamacare has been implicated in the marketplace, almost 40% per year on average increases. Uh, and we've seen deductibles increase. Um, and so I've sp spoken to so many people across the district that uh, just simply cannot afford uh, what health care is costing them. So that still exists. And insurance companies are pulling out. Uh, we're going to see less insurers being willing to participate in the marketplace in 2018. Um, and costs are going to continue to rise. So we, we have to figure out a better way. Um, the So uh, just a few components. And the <coughs> Specific proposals that have been put out there by the Problem Solvers Caucus address several areas where we, in about a month of discussion, found some agreement. We, um, well, I'll just say a few of those. One is the employer mandate. Right now, there are two components to the employer mandate that have been problematic. One is it can affect business, fairly small business, business with only uh, 50 employees. Uh, the Problem Solvers agreed that we could we should increase that to 500, uh, 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 companies with 500 employees minimum. 
Um, and then there's a full-time requirement of 30 hours that have actually has reduced in income to some employees when employers have reduced their hours to less than 30 so they don't have to comply. Um, do we think that will result in uh, less in uh, employers providing insurance? I don't think so. Employers were providing short insurance even before, but it would just reduce some of the mandates and give them a little more flexibility. Uh, that was one thing that the problem solvers agreed to. Uh, the cost sharing reduction payments um, was enough. We would continue that, but it would be done as a part of the appropriations process rather than just simply implemented by the president. That was another component that was agreed to. Uh, eliminating the medical device tax it was a, another component of the proposal that's put forward by. There's just a few.